think what you're going to see today mostly is me just sitting in cabs of tractors, getting excited, pretending to drive them, which is what, that's, that's all people want to come to Lama Show for, really, so sorry about that. Like this. Nearly fell over. Oh, oh man. What's up everybody? I'm at Lama 2019 and this year it's inside. It's the first year it's ever been inside and uh, yeah, it's a different dynamic. One thing I've noticed is a lot of the big boys aren't here today, so we're lacking John Deere, Case, New Holland. Uh, but we have big stands from JCB. Um, Crone have a big stand. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's slightly different dynamic to what we're used to. Um, I think a lot of people like it. It's a shame, it's a really nice day outside today. So last year they had a lot of trouble with wind, rain, stands getting blown away. One thing with bringing it to the NEC is the cost has rocketed for exhibits. One company that's really stepped the game up this year is Armatrack. Um, they have pretty much half of a haul to themselves. Um, I'm hopefully gonna get to speak to some of them later. Oh, we've got to the end here, don't know. I don't know where I'm supposed to be going, I'm behind everyone. Right, so Ray. Yes. Um, you are what for Armour Track? I am the chairman of Armour Track. You're the chairman of Armour Track. Right, okay. Um, so, what it seems like, I, I came and I saw your stand last year, and your stand was a quarter of this last year at the uh, Peterborough yes. Lama Show. Yes. This year you've expanded, you've taken up half of the hall, you've got advertising everywhere. What, how has changed? Why is that? Why has it grown? Okay, well, this is our fourth Lama. Yeah. And uh, if the truth be told, four Lamas ago we introduced Armour Track tractors. Right. And since then we've always had a, a loving relationship with Lama. Right. Even from the first show, we, we secured orders from the first show. And now, with it being the fourth Lama, Armour Track have got our, we've got our ducks in a row. Yeah. We've got a comprehensive dealer network. We've got Armour Track Finance on board. So really in truth, we saw this as the official launch. Right, yes. As opposed to an introduction four lammers ago. Yes, yeah. Uh, and we wanted to make uh, a bold statement into the industry. Yeah. Not just that Armour Track uh, have serious intent, but also the fact that now the world's largest tractor manufacturer has indeed now bought Armour Track. Oh really? Yeah, and that's got the full weight and force behind now the brand of Armour Track. Okay. And, and that organisation is Mahindra. I know Mahindra. Okay. Mahindra. Yes. So it's a very exciting times. So we're increasing our range. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and we had a new launch on the first day yesterday morning. And we always see that Lama is the great platform. Yeah, absolutely. For, for that. Yeah. Insofar as the venue, the change, I'm in a shirt, yeah. as opposed to a scarf and a hat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's a, that's a great start. You're at room temperature now, R rather than having a blue face. And uh, exactly. And uh, I was all for it, actually, because people say, oh, well, the costs are abhorrent. And they are. They yeah. are. Yeah, Let's no, not yeah. get away from that. But if, you know, the UK is perceived to be, be the leaders in the UK industry, but they haven't been in exhibitions. Yeah. And now, on par with Agritechnica and with SEMA, yeah. now we've got a platform to start matching those kind of absolutely, platforms. Absolutely. So I'm embracing it, I'm all for it, and we've had it so far an absolutely unbelievable show. Awesome, awesome. Tell me a little bit about the tractors. So, um, why, why this and why not one of the other brands that haven't turned up today? Uh, okay. You know, what, what's the sell? Well, okay, the USPs, first of all I say it's the best value for money tractor in okay. the market. Yeah. What, why do I say that? Well, first of all, we've not reinvented the wheel here. We've got a British Perkins engine. Okay. We've got a German ZF axles. Yeah. German ZF transmission. Yeah. So it's all tried and tested driveline. Yes. Now, our USP is little or no electronics. Okay. So yes. it is a genuine back to basics. Which, which in the farming world is a, is a big thing. There's we a, think so. Yeah, yeah. We, we, we believe so. And, uh, you know, we're resisting that, uh, 
we, thus far we've resisted the ad blue, yeah. uh, but we, the tractor we launched yesterday is indeed the tier four final ad blue right, okay. because of course of the emissions and everything else. Yeah. But we have managed thus far, we've got the mother regulations from below 90 horsepower, we've got 80 horsepower, 70 horsepower, 60 horsepower and 50 horsepower. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, so all of a sudden we're, we're increasing our range of armor track tractors. Are you finding it's mainly stock farmers who are having this? Is it? It's yes, thus far yes, yeah, stock stock farmers, small to middle sized farms. Um, we was at the Soltex exhibition this yeah. this year because one of our main customers who owns seven armor track tractors is a gentleman by the name of John Mallinson. Looks after Everton Football Club. Okay. He's not from an agricultural background. He's got yeah. grass tires and all of his. Yeah. And as much blarney as any of our salesmen can give. Without the backup and without being happy with the product, you'd never get that repeat business. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, there was one other question I had in mind. Um, you kind of touched on it there a little bit. I was going to say, so, so you're finding that sales are good at the minute. Sales yeah. are going great. Because I'm starting to see, you know, across different media channels, across different, you know, I'm starting to see the name about more and more. And I, I yeah. know of the name. When I when you first moved to your, the depot yes. near me, yes. uh, I used to work across the road. Oh right! So it's, it's when you first put the signs up and you wheel the first ones. And yes. I was there. I actually watched oh, you wow. do that from, from the window across the road. Fantastic! Uh, so Fantastic. that's how I first got the name. And then when I saw you at the Lama, I was like, you know. Uh, um, so yeah, so you, you're finding quite good growth then. In uh, yeah, we are. Uh, it's it's hard work. There's no shortcuts. UK is a notorious market to break into. Yeah. But providing the product is good, it's value for money at the right price. Yeah. You've got the great, good support in place. Yeah. The parts are readily available. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you've got to keep on being at every national exhibition. Then it's got to be supported by a dealer network at regional level. Yes. And of course, we've got to be seen at national press in both Farmers Guardian and Farmers Weekly. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So it's quite. We're running at the moment quite an exciting competition to win an armor track tractor for twelve yeah, months. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so this is. We signed up for that. Yeah, excellent, excellent, <laughs> excellent. Uh, let's see if you win it. That'd be great. Oh, well, there we go. Uh, but it's it's open to everybody. Come, Pepper. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So absolutely, Ray. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Appreciate Tom. it. You're welcome. Um, You're welcome. Yeah, and I look forward to seeing how you grow from here, even bigger and stronger, and Super. have a bigger stand than everyone else again next year. Well, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> I think this year it was to make a, a serious impact into the marketplace. Yeah. And uh, I think we've. We've sent the message out now of our serious intention, and um, you know we are looking to become a household name within the UK agricultural industry. Absolutely, absolutely. Thank you very much. Appreciate your time. All the best. Thank All right. You. Thank you. This can be the trailer for my video. So I'm with David at the Lama Show uh, 2019 on the Fleming stand. Fleming are obviously sponsoring my 1,000 mile charity journey. Um, so David, how's it gone today? Yeah, we've had a very successful show over the last uh, couple of days. Uh, it's been a big change for us uh, moving to the NEC this year. But um, we've had uh, probably more interest this year uh, than the previous two or three years. We went we back to the old showgrounds in Peterborough. Um, I think most of the people we've been talking to are, are pleased with the show and have had a good day out. Um, so yeah, we, we're pretty happy thus far, yeah. Good, yeah. good. How are things looking for 2019? 2019, uh, shaping up to be another busy year. Uh, we're currently in roller production. Uh, some of the spring equipment will be getting ready for the, the busy spring season coming in. The market still seems uh, pretty buoyant. Obviously we've got uh, Brexit looming on us, uh, yeah. but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I think uh, it's just a matter of uh, bouldering down the hatches and, and, and keep going, you know, so... Uh, yeah, okay. mm -hmm. um, one of the things that, that Fleming have offered to do is, is loan us one of the TR2 trailers uh, for the journey, and this is the first time I've actually seen one in person, yeah. I've not actually seen one, so John had offered to yes. uh, uh -huh. send one of these over, obviously get some exposure yeah. with it. Mm -hmm. um, it looks absolutely ideal for what I'm yeah. trying to do. So, well, thank you very much. Thank you. And I hope it's going to be a, a, a long partnership. Thank you. Thank you. No problem.